Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, in a recent media interaction Real Madrid and Turkish Phenom Adagule explained his decision to reject FC Barcelona move in favor of a Santiago Bernabeu switch. We are going to be discussing you through that throughout this episode as we progress. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. After making a big money move to Real Madrid last summer, Adagule has endured a rather slow start to life at the Santiago Bernabeu. Regarded as one of the most talented young attackers in Europe, Goulet's progress this season has been mirrored by injuries. The young Turk, though, raised many eyebrows with his recent performance against Real Sociedad on Friday night with a forward notably scoring the match-winning goal. Days after his performances against Sociedad, Adal Goulet sat down with Kafa Sport for an interview where he talked about his dream move to Real Madrid while reminiscing about his time at Turkish club Fenerbahce. When asked about his decision to choose Real Madrid over FC Barcelona, who were keen on signing him in the summer only for him to make a last second switch to choose Real Madrid, Adagule explained. I dreamt of Real Madrid since I was a little boy. While I was on vacation, my father called me and said, Real Madrid wants you. I was extremely excited, the youngster explained. Explaining his decision to join Real Madrid, the youngster added, I could have stayed at Fenerbahce for one more year, but I wanted to show the world what a Turkish young man from Fenerbahce could do in Europe. I hope I will continue to show. Real Madrid fans cannot accept losing a match. That is why you feel pressure. Real Madrid are meant to win. The youngster further added on the pressure and the expectations laid on one's shoulders once you sign the contract with the Merengues as they are a club defined by winning and victories. Adagule went on to reveal that Real Madrid offered him a tantalizing project of replacing the legend Luka Modric in a long run. Real Madrid told me that I would be Modric's heir. They offered me a long-term project and I was convinced, the youngster said. Adagule though has not featured much since joining Real Madrid, primarily because of injuries. The player, however, has not complained with Carlo Ancelotti. Do I play enough? Our coach constantly talks to me about his plans. He prepares me. He is in constant communication, the young star said, with no intentions of resentment, but rather of praises toward the Italian gaffer. Goulet went on to talk about his teammate, including Luka Modric, the player he is supposed to replace in the years to come. I can't call him Luca. I can't call him Tony, he said about the legend Tony Cruz and Luca Modric. They are older brothers. I learned this in my family. I feel like I am disrespecting them. I call Tony brother and Modric brother. That is why they started calling me brother as well, Adagule said. I constantly try to learn something from Cruz and Modric. I constantly ask them questions and get advice, he added. Talking about how Real Madrid teammate perceive him, he said, I try to learn something every day from everyone. Alaba Rudiga, Fede Valverde, Brahim Diaz, I spend the most time with them. When quizzed on how his teammate referred to him in terms of nickname, Azagule said, they call me Tuko, or they say Abi, revealed Goulet, who has mentioned before 
start in Real Madrid recent win over Real Sociedad on Friday night. Talking about his celebration after scoring the goal against Real Sociedad, Adagule reiterated his belief in God, stating, It is based on trust. I believe that everything comes from Allah. Gule also talked openly on the other land he receives from the Turkish fans, adding, The support of the Turkish people gives me strength. Finally, Adagule reflected on his time at Fenerbahce, especially on whether or not the Turkish outfit should have received more from the deal. Together with our family, we requested Real Madrid to pay a little more. They kindly agreed and understood, he revealed. Goulet, though, denied his father's getting a cut from the Real Madrid D adding, such a thing is not even possible. Since Adar Goulet signed for Real Madrid in the summer of 2023, where it more than looked like he was going to join FC Barcelona, he was slated to be one of the big revolutionaries of the season. Injuries though have not been kind to the youngster, having picked up back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back injuries thrice in a row in the first half of the season. Adagule did not play a single minute for Real Madrid starting from pre-season till the end of the first half of the season. In the second half, however, he made his appearance in the Copa del Rey against 4th Division side Arandina, where he played almost 60 minutes before getting sucked off by the manager. Azagule has also sparingly get, gotten minutes in La Liga, playing a total of 99 minutes for Real Madrid in the La Liga competition, scoring two goals in total, with his most recent goal coming against Real Sociedad in what took them even closer to the title. Real Madrid are now stand favorite to win the La Liga title with just six points required and with Barcelona having the obligation to not drop points within that period. Adagule, however, also iterated in his conference that he wants to be the first Turkish player to win the UEFA Champions League for Real Madrid. Real Madrid are also in that process as they are currently in the semi-finals of the competition pitted against European rivals FC Bayern Munich with the game slated to take place on Tuesday night at the Allianz Arena first leg of the semi-finals. So I haven't discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.